Welcome to the Van Ambassador Van Tour. I want to show you what I've been working on for the last year. We've been working with El Capitan. We designed a bunch of different features, things that have never been done yet in a van. And we're going to show you all the aspects and the fine quality workmanship. I'm going to tell you a little bit, a few nuances of things that you may want to consider when you're creating your van build. Again, thanks for joining. Let's check it out. Welcome to the Van Ambassador Kitchen. We've got a mini duo induction oven. It's double plated if I'm doing some some frying and I also want to make some coffee at the same time, I can do that. The sink kitchen area, bamboo countertop. This is actually for a cutting board as well as covering everything up in case you want to use that space. Uh, it is an extra large sink, one that you would find in a regular home because I found it uh, from uh, home fixings and home furnishings. So this is a faucet that I got that's extra premium. It does have a top like that it also swivels out of the side if you need extra space to wash things it has an instant hot water and it also has a, a full filter that's filtered water I'll show you underneath and then it also has a soap dispenser I didn't want to have anything out if you have ever been in a van for a long time you start to realize every time you start to move this van you got to clear off everything so that nothing falls off I really didn't want to have to deal with any of that so I put it all together and then I've got my sponge attached inside here the cabinets all underneath have flat suction coupled surfaces as well as magnets. So I use magnets a lot. Let's say I finished cooking, I've washed my dishes. I put that up there, I put this up there, and I just dry it as I'm eating. And before I know it, it's dried. Uh, again, a really nice thing to do. But I also, let's say I have a towel I've been using. I have lighter magnets as well. And I can dry everything here or there, but I also have it for, I actually do a lot of filming as you know in here, so I can actually attach a magnet here very easily. And I can do filming from anywhere at any angle in here. This is the patented, it's not patented at all, but I came up with this design with El Capitan. This is a hidden bathroom, hidden shower. How's that work? You take this off, take this couch off, and in here, you have a full standing, rather large shower area. It's waterproof and there's a drain that goes right into your gray tank. Then you've also got a porta poly potty. I've never used the porta potty. I thought I would, but actually I prefer not having to deal with it. So I hear it's here as emergencies, but it's a full waterproof center area. So you could actually wash a little dog. You can wash some of your products or your things in the winter here and you don't have to worry about it, but it also serves as a shower. How does it serve as a shower? So you've got your shower plug in and underneath here is a full shower instant hot water plug. Then you've got a curtain that I have in the back. The curtain is on magnets, so it actually sits up here in the ceiling when you want to use it, but then you can take it down and nobody really even notices that there's a shower in here. They just think there's a plate there that you could actually use to hang anything uh, with magnets. Again, if you're doing research right now on vans and what you want in a van, one of the things that everybody will tell me when they've had a van for a long time is, you think you want a shower, but it takes up a ton of room and you actually aren't gonna use it. And I thought, how do you get around without a shower or a toilet? There's another shower in the back for warmer weather, but if I'm in the winter, I thought, okay, I'm gonna to wanna to use this. But the truth is, if I'm going somewhere in the winter and it's too cold to shower indoors, chances are I'm only gonna go there for a couple of days. I'm probably not gonna to need to shower much. Maybe I'm gonna go skiing. Um, but I could shower if I wanted to. I'm just giving you some advice from my perspective. I'm not even sure if I would have done that. But what's nice about this now is that I have a waterproof area where I can clean things and store things and I don't have to worry about anything else happening to it. Now let's talk about how this is essentially a two sleeping, this way, queen size bed. It's about two inches shy of a queen size according to it. These are queen size sheets right now actually on there. This is my second bed for my son, for example. How does that work? Now I've got a bed that's fully, actually extremely comfortable, and here I am sleeping in it. If I want extra room, I can move this out, and then I've got this. So I'm about 5'10". If I ask my dad, I'm 5'11". If I ask my wife, I'm 5'9". So you can see where that goes. But here, I'll, I'll turn around so you can see. My feet 
are pretty, my leg is almost straight, my head's here, but if I were to sleep like this, which is pretty comfortable, I'm actually totally fine here. So, I actually may sleep in here. I kept a full space here. I wanted to make sure that if I had something really long I had to transport, having a van that's really nice, I want to make sure this is open. Cabinets, you got that, that, these are locked in place, so you don't have to worry about that. You have a microwave here. At night, if you're in a van, you want to kind of hide this area. I don't like putting uh, covers on the front windshield. I think that just screams, hey, there's somebody sleeping in the van. So I just like to block this section and leave that uh, front area open. Uh, but it's very easy to just open up. So you have this open carriage. Obviously these swivel, if you haven't seen something online, I can show it to you, but you've seen them online, they swivel back. And so you would take, all this is on snaps, you take all this off, you swivel this, and you've got two seats, both of them swivel facing this way. And now you've got seating for one, two, three, four, five, six people easy. Laguna tables. These are awesome. I saw them on a YouTube video and I said, I need to have these. It's packed away in a very nice system. So it can be multiple heights. So if you've ever been on a boat, this is a very typical boat scenario. It's got three different ways to move. And then if, if I want to tighten it, I can tighten it so it will not move at all. But I'll loosen it. It also has the ability to be, this is where I work. I can work like this and stare out the window. I can have dinner with somebody and eat here. It's a bamboo. And then I can also, if I'm cooking, I can move it this way and I can raise it up to cook. This is where it's stored in this very nice little case right there. Also, just so you know, this is where I throw my little garbage can. But again, that's an extra vent for the behind the refrigerator and that's the plug. All of the windows have very high end black out curtains that's in every single window and then these windows open up as well as you know in a van space is premium I didn't want to sacrifice anything I also wanted something where if I hop off an airplane and I somebody picks me up in the van I can Ooh. open this up this completely attached detaches and then this actually fits regulation carry-on suitcases so I pop my regulation carry-on suitcase in I've got other storage here, put this back in here, and I can use this as a seat. It's extremely, extremely sturdy. I actually popped this off. It's got, it's got handles on both sides. It's very nicely finished too, if you don't notice that, right? It's on, it's on tracks here. I can put this on the ground and use it as a table outside the van if I want. Um, and then I can slide it back in. Two cup holders from our friends Husky Cup. If I want an extension cord and I want to pull this out and I want to use this uh, for doing some work, I can do that. And I've got access to all of my plugs, both regular as well as USB and USB-C. Again, the USB and USB-C, I don't even need to put the inverter on. I don't need to do anything that's always charged and it's always giving me battery. The other ones I have to put the inverter on and I can use a regular plug at the regular voltage. If you have looked up 2019 Mercedes Sprinter vans, you'll know you can do research on the dashboard and all that setup. What's unique is this is all, again, a metal and suction cup surface. I can actually just take my keys so I know where they are and I can attach them here and then I always know where they are. Same with my mask and I just reach up and grab it. Uh, I've, I've put extra holes here so that if I wanted to put anything electric up there like my uh, uh, Echo Dot, I can take my Echo Dot with the wire and the plug up there, run it here, and there's no other wires and plugs. Same with a USB, same with a GPS system, etc. Okay, the back of the van. A 
few features. Obviously, we want the plug so that we can charge stuff and we can actually play stuff out the back of the van. This is where you access your water, your 40 gallon water tank. If you want to get access to it in other, any other ways, there's lots of panels for the electricity and the other pieces of, of the puzzle. Uh, little light also to see inside there. If you want to turn the lights on, you have all sorts of panels to have access to any machinery. I don't try to touch that stuff, but there's also L tracks here, 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 and here where I keep. So we keep bungee cords and we can basically bungee anything we want uh, into here. And then of course I've got my, my containers, my other containers and my pumpkins. This whole thing comes up if I really wanted to remove it. If I have a heavy something that I need to use a van for, I can take this whole thing off. That's the backup camera, which, which is great. Okay, let's talk about the back of the cab and the lighting system. Alexa, lights on. Okay. That's as close as you get to let there be light. You can also individually control all of these. And then these are on a separate switch, unlike Alexa, so you can put them all on. Alexa, mood light red. Alexa, mm -hmm. mood light blue. Okay. Alexa, mood light white. Okay. Alexa, mood light green. Okay. Alexa, mood light off. Okay. So we've got all of these different systems here, and then you've also got an extra light up here in case you just want to turn on that light for your work. Alexa, lights off. Okay. Talk about another thing, the fans. We've got two max fans. They are controlled also by Alexa as well as individual switches. Alexa, fan two. Okay. What's interesting about that is actually these fans pull air up or they push air down and they have multiple speeds. And if you are away and you say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna try and aerate the van a little bit. You can actually control that from an app anywhere in the world. That was it, the Van Ambassador Tour. Thanks for joining. Thanks for taking a look at the inner sanctum. We hope to see you out there on the road for the Van Ambassador. If you have questions, comments, thoughts, suggestions for anyone, including myself, please leave them below. We will see you soon.